Hello everyone and welcome to my first episode of uh, this series. It's gonna be this island is called May Island and uh, yeah, it's gonna be epic. Um, I already started playing a lot. I already got enchanted, fully enchanted pickaxes and shovel. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start by showing you around and so on and hopefully I last longer this series than the previous one. The previous one was just two episodes and then I died. Um, this is our cool mode, so yeah, it's gonna be very epical. So let me start showing you around. Boop. Okay, over here we have our farms. Um, it's it's a sheep farm, and then I have a small chicken farm. <laughs> They're actually little at the moment because um, there was a creeper here, and it blew <laughs> it blew up all of the chickens. So only two was left, and I had to breed them all over again. But that's fine. Okay, over here we have our cows. As you can see, they're fully stacked. I use them uh, for their leather to get books and so on, for enchantments and so on. Um, yeah, I have a chest full of wheat and seeds to feed the animals. And as you can see, I need to actually slay them. So maybe I must do that quickly. Just do that quick. Yes! Die for me! Your leather is gonna make me stronger. What the hell? There's a cow in the boat. Okay. There we go. 61 leather. Easy. Okay, let's do all that there. And then we have a lot of food as well. So that's it. Um, I want to show you guys. I planted sugarcane all around the island. It's really cool. And uh, let's see how many we can get. Because um, it's planted all around. And then I also planted a lot of wheat. Um, around it to feed the animals but yeah let's start by breaking these i wonder how much we'll get in our inventory because it's quite a lot island but we'll see so let's break this quick will we have enough inventory space i am not sure but we will see <laughs> that that's so fun we do not walk over crops because we're not savages Here we go, and I forgot to break these in the middle, and uh, yeah, that's our whole island. So guys, after we break this, let's see how much we actually got. It's a lot of sugarcane. <laughs> What's that? Like 18, that's almost 20 stacks. That is 20 stacks. It's 20 stacks of sugarcane. Just by breaking all of the sugarcane the, on the island, and that's not even counting the ones that fell into the water. So yeah, <laughs> I planted a lot of sugarcane and uh, yeah, I think it was worthwhile and now we can make a lot of books and so on and use it to trade, get some emeralds and um, yeah, let me just show you guys what the trading hall looks like. Um, I actually want to in the future make everything look nice but for now uh, it's just a small cave leading down to the treasure hall and the treasure hall doesn't look nice either but uh, I'm gonna fix that um, as soon as I can. Um, here we have the villagers. So <laughs> I'll explain the cakes later. Um, here's the beds for the villagers. Uh, the more beds you got, the more villagers you can have and breed. Um, you have to feed them carrots and potatoes. I have automatic uh, potato and carrot farm, but I'll show you that soon. Um, so yeah, this is the villagers that I breed. I'll show you the story behind the cakes uh, soon. Um, so basically how it works is the villagers uh, get breeded here and um, then you have this uh, area over here then you lure the villagers in here you can use a, um, a workstation um, to just lure them in here or you can use a bait uh, for example carrots and potatoes and seeds because they do pick it up um, and then you can actually uh, put a minecart here and then you have these small spaces over here uh, on top there's a, a block open because otherwise if you break break the minecart um, they actually get it and if they get it you get crappier trades so basically um, you push them into the minecart or bait them into the minecart um, and then you close this of course 
and then you have the small ba space in, in between the fences um, then the mine cart goes and you can lure them all the way into the um, small space and you have to have this on top to block them from walking out otherwise they they're gonna escape and we don't want any fugitives escaping so <laughs> yeah that's basically how it works i mostly use um farmers and um this masons are really useful because you can trade stone and you mine a lot in minecraft i mean it's called minecraft so um you, you use stone and you can trade granite as well as clay balls that's the start of it you can get lots of clay balls i guess when you have fortune 3 on your shovel um, but but the most thing i use is andesite granite stone and um, diorite because you're never going to use it right or mostly not going to use it and you mine a lot especially with the efficiency 5 uh, book so let me get to the villages it was really weird i had to figure it out myself um, let me get to the librarians so basically the librarians if they have a level four if they are master um you level up them up through uh, specific things um that you give them for example this guy wants uh, emeralds but you can also trade paper on some of them um but the thing yeah here we go paper um, you get papers sometimes at the start and then you have to upgrade them But the thing is some items give more XP than others um, And you see that when you start trading um, So if you say now trade the, the paper it will give less than when you trade one emerald for lanterns Then you get a lot more and then you can level him up quicker to get him to master level where you can get four books um, for the um, but the thing that I did not know is you can reset the, the librarians um, if you break this um, lectern You can reset basically what is gonna gonna be let me show you guys Here we go. Here's one but the thing is you won't change because if you give them XP so if you say now trade one one thing then you give them XP and then they will uh, they won't reset right if you break this they won't reset into a normal villager because um, this guy already has XP so you will stay like that so basically if they come from the breeding farm um, you can put the lectern down and then it's gonna show you a specific book or um, what you can trade with and then you can break this and if you put it and then he's gonna reset so he's gonna become a normal villager and he's not gonna be a librarian anymore and you put it down again and then it's gonna change um, the books and um, you can get unbreaking three efficiency five um, you know lure three all of those things with uh, just one villager if you keep uh, breaking this and resetting it and wait for the right enchantment um, but yeah I didn't know that so yeah that's quite useful information for you um, and yeah that's the villager all. Um, yeah, it took me quite a while to get all these items and to trade with them and so on. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Um, with masons as well, if you trade specific items, you get more XP. So you'll just have to play around with that and see how it goes. Okay, let me show you guys um, the other part of the of my island. So the idea is, you can see. Uh, um, there's a platform there. I'll show you why. Um, I actually wanted to create the dome underwater, and to create it underwater, you have to um, get sand, place it on a platform as a dome, and then you have to drop all the sand into the water. And when you drop it in, you basically create a dome around the sand, uh, a glass. Say now you use glass, and then you're gonna break the uh, sand inside the glass, and you're gonna have air not the water anymore so yeah that's basically how you build an outer water base but yeah for now this is a tunnel i have um i actually want to create it uh, make it uh, circular um and make it round so that it looks like a tube going down towards the base but anyways um this is my automated form that i created down here for now it looks kind of crappy i, I really want to um fix it and make it look like a glass tube um, that's going down towards the base, but for now it's alright, I guess. Um, so if you get down here, 
you can see it's an um, underwater uh, farm type of thing and it actually works and um, these villagers they trade with the guy in the middle here and then the carrots and crops drop in here if you guys want a tutorial on this i'll give you one just let me know in the comments it only takes one or two or one <laughs> and i'll make a tutorial for you i don't mind um it's really quick really easy to build and you don't need a lot of uh, resources to build it um but because i wanted to build an underwater base that took me very long <laughs> but yeah let me show you guys what i got down here um uh, so this is the system that leads down to the chests and you can see yeah there's already things in here <laughs> this is cookies this is from trading with the farmers and i had no use for so i just put it in there <laughs> but anyways i forgot to tell you guys the story of the cakes i traded with the um, farmers and i had to trade cakes because they give um, a lot of xp now instead of wasting the cakes i put it down by the villagers just to um you know light up the place a bit but yeah now they're eating cakes all the time <laughs> Uh, but yeah let me show you guys how it looks from outside okay so here's the platform i actually need to break all of this this down um, but yeah you can see i built around it to just break the blocks um, and let it fall into the ocean so this is how it looks like from the outside it looks really really cool i actually want to make this more foresty and more you know neat and so on so it looks like a almost like a fish globe with lots of decorations and so on uh, but yeah that's the the main idea i really want to create an underwater base and so on um so yeah actually when i'm done with the villages and i have everything enchanted i can just use that space for decoration and make it look nice and so on but yeah that's the plan um yeah so that's everything I've been working on so far if you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe let me know if you guys have any ideas for future videos i do have a video coming out i think next week about um kitchens minecraft kitchens in creative mode i'm going to show you some kitchens that i developed i already created two it's really really cool um and then the crop form i'll do if if we have two comments requesting the crop form a tutorial then i'll I'll do it for you guys but other than that for now guys have a lovely day and cheers cheers boop